Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel, Public Relations 101, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing PR plans. PR plans are typically used for tier one and two strategic and tactical level events. In a PR plan, you normally start off with a little bit of an introduction. This sets the scene. What are you doing and why is public relations support needed? The second thing a PR plan needs are objectives. What are you trying to achieve through public relations support? The third component to a good PR plan is audiences. Who is your audience? Who are you doing all of this PR planning for? The fourth thing a PR plan needs are messaging. What is your message? What is the message that you're trying to get out or your clients are trying to get out into their target audiences that you've just identified? The fifth thing a PR plan outlines is your strategy. What is your PR strategy for achieving the objectives that you've just outlined? The sixth thing a PR plan includes are tactics. What are the tactics that you're going to try and use to get to or to get your message out to the audiences that you've identified? The seventh thing a PR plan includes are tools. Are you planning press releases? Are you planning TV interviews? Are you planning radio interviews? Are you planning press, press features? Are you including social media support? Are you including social media buying? What exactly are your tools to get the objectives accomplished? The eighth thing is your target media. Who will be there? Who will be attending your event? Because the people that you identify amongst the media that will attend your event are the people that will be the chief transmitters of this information. So think wisely before you type out your target media preference. The ninth thing that your PR plan should include is the evaluation phase. What are the KPIs? What are the key performance indicators of a successful event? You need to be crystal clear on what a successful event looks like because that is the kind of event that you want to deliver to your clients. And the tenth and final step is your next step. You need to be reporting. You need to have a reporting phase planned into your PR plan. You need to be able to tell your clients, look, these were my objectives, these were my tools, and here's the report of the event that I've just pulled off for you. This is what the success looked like when I planned it, and this is what I've actually delivered. And the next steps beyond the reporting phase could be if the event was successful, what do you plan on repeating? And if the event was successful in many, many aspects but still needed success in other aspects, then what exactly do you need to do better next time around? Thank you for watching. Folks, I post new content regularly, so please remember to subscribe and like my channel if you want to put a PR spin on your future in the communications game.